The only person who writes better headlines than the New York Post is Matt Drudge, who wrote, Ann Coulter turbulence with Delta Airlines is his headline for this story. Welcome to the program. Ann Coulter is in the studio with me today because apparently um, we have two different versions of what happened on Saturday. So we brought you in and we offered a microphone to, uh, to the to the CEO of, of Delta Airlines, but uh, they didn't have time to come on the show, and they have issued the following statement in response to your insults. Though this is not the CEO whom I really wanted you to dial fast before he's fired. We're trying. Um, so she, of course, Anne took to social media. She does that every day about every issue. It doesn't matter if she got a bad shake at Carvel. She's going on Twitter to let Not everyone... Not too many consumer complaints. It's mostly political. Not many people on Twitter on Saturday. I was surprised at how quickly they were getting thousands of likes and retweets for a Saturday. I mean, people check on their iPhones. But I think it's because airlines, and particularly Delta, have gotten so completely out of control. It's as if they do not have to to they're not a customer oriented business anymore and i think of the people who fly and a lot more people aren't flying at all um i think it's only about a third of the country but that third of the country is ticked off enough oh, yes. that in the middle of a saturday in the summer these tweets in my cab on the way home from the airport i check back a few hours later and bam oh yeah it was it was not only was i getting your tweets but they were being retweeted so many times that my phone blew up i had to turn it off <laughs> you know, because we're in the same uh, track there anyway. Well, let me read the following statement from Delta in response. We are sorry that the customer did not receive the seat she reserved and paid for. More importantly, we are disappointed that the customer has chosen to publicly attack our employees and other customers by posting derogatory and slanderous comments and photos in social media. Her actions are unnecessary and unacceptable. Each of our employees is charged with treating each other as well as our customers with dignity and respect, and we hold each other accountable when that does not happen. Delta expects mutual civility throughout the entire travel experience. We will refund Miss Coulter's $30 for the preferred seat on the exit row that she purchased. So uh, you booked seat 15F, one of my favorite seats. What happened? Well, first of all, um, Delta and I do agree on one thing. Um, my tweets, if true, were defamatory because, <laughs> because uh, I mean, their allegation of defamatory, it would be defamatory, if, or, or rather, if it weren't true. Um, all I did was report what happened. I'm glad they, they're alarmed by that because there was no indication that they were particularly alarmed until now. Um, this is why flying is so, is so unpleasant. These arbitrary rules, they lure you, you in. They invite you to book, um, choose your seat online. I spent a lot of time I'm doing it. I fly a lot. I have particular reasons for wanting the seat I want. I checked back, which, by the way, they told the New York Times today they could tell when I was checking back and switching seats. So they know the seat was important to me. I don't know why they think that's an argument for their side. Um, I ran into a friend of mine from down here in the waiting area. Um, so um, I have proof, and apparently you need proof for everything you say with these people, um, that I was in the, the, the waiting area 90 minutes before the flight took off. No one ever called me up and asked me if I'd like to switch. Um, I mean, obviously, anyone would be happy to switch for an elderly person, a sick person, someone freakishly tall. Or a free ticket. I even mean, more freakishly tall than I am. I, I might even agree to switch just to let a woman sit, sit next to her husband. But I'd like to be asked, and whoa, that's not what happened. So I'm boarding after spending all this time offline. Um, and, and as I'm going through boarding, the, the, the gate agent just snatches my ticket out of my hand and hands me a little slip saying, your seat's been changed. And I said, why? And she said, emergency. Um, so, you know, I have 200 people behind me waiting to board, so I went ahead and boarded, and oh, look, my seat is empty. So I sat in my seat, um, the other seats filled up, and then a woman came and did not take the seat they were trying to move me to. Normally, that's what people do if they don't care. Right. Um, but obviously, this was a desirable seat, more leg room and an aisle seat, which for my own reasons, I like. Um, and the stewardess came up and, and demanded to see the tickets. I said, well, this isn't my ticket. The gate agent took my ticket. This was the seat I booked. And 
and reserved. And she said, you have to move. I said, why? And she said, I don't know. So, so I sat and fumed, and I would have gotten my tweets off way sooner, um, except their Wi-Fi was down. Um, and yeah, I, it was a nice plane, but it wasn't the seat I wanted. I wanted a seat for my own reasons that I could do work in. I have a lot of, a lot of reasons, but it's really no one's business. That was the seat I booked. They invite you to do this. If they want to be spirit they airlines... They charge you extra for it. Forget the charge. That's a snippy remark, this $30. If they think the seat is only worth $30, why didn't they give that woman $30 and let me have my seat? Right. No, I wanted the seat. I chose it for a reason, and they lured me in to waste all this time online looking up what kind of aircraft it is, Airbus, I don't know, 316 or 318, looking to see which, which ones have the most room. I mean, I am very tall, but it, like I say, this is the seat I chose. Why did they waste my time doing that? Um, the reason I took a picture of the people taking my seat, because I suspected, and whoa, was it true, um, that El Delta would lie um, and would claim it's an air marshal, would claim it was a tall person, would claim it was an old person no it was a perfectly fit woman um about a foot shorter than i am that's why it was relevant there was nothing defamatory about the customer except she was not tall i am tall this is why it made a difference and why did you give it to her no explanation ever i didn't get an explanation i didn't get an apology i got i got what i got was and i think the reason it's blown up more today than y Saturday, I think it blew up because people so hate the airlines and they're arbitrary. I mean, this is this is all out of Stanley Milgram's experiment at Yale, where you allowed some students to be the prison guards over other students. This is what the flying experience has become like, just arbitrary rules imposed on you. And you just have to lie back and take it unless you want to be dragged off the plane like, like that other customer. Mm -hmm. um, now, the reason what, I think it blew up today is because um, after initially responding appropriately and by the way i responded appropriately i have my my direct tweets to prove it explaining everything giving them all of the information um suddenly um the midday customer service you know twitter responders um may not be the top they're not sending their best at delta um they're not sending their best for the sunday afternoon tweeting and they have um you know some social justice warriors tweeting out they're going to now abuse me further well, it, look, it's bad enough they're abusing me when I'm trapped, I'm their prisoner, um, and I can't do anything. But when I'm, when, I'm, when I'm, you know, sitting in a cab, when I'm on my own time, I've left the plane, they're going to start policing my behavior? Those tweets were inappropriate. Good grief. Um, and, and, okay, you know, maybe mm -hmm. they'll make the decision. I don't think the CEO would make this decision. I don't think the corporate office is going to be happy that they have social justice warriors running their response team. But maybe they'll make the decision. You know, um, Coulter's very partisan. Um, a lot of people don't like her. The media is certainly going to be, we could have hit her with a baseball bat. And the Daily Mail and the New York Post would say, you go Delta. Maybe they're going to go with that and just say screw you to half their customers but i'm sorry this is an internal injury they may uh, when they go under i won't say it's only because of me it's it'll be because of the woman who was sexually harassed on the flight to london and right. and delta wouldn't do anything about it it'll be because of endless flight delays it'll be of who knows what but this is an internal injury that's hit them yeah well and i think i guess what what is most bothersome to me is i had a, a ho awful flying experience as well out of new york this week and it's the it's the rudeness and the arrogance right. of the staff that you're dealing with. You know, if you're going to cancel my flight five hours into the night where I have no recourse but to book another flight the next day at my expense, go find a hotel room, get myself to the hotel room and back, at least be nice to me instead of <laughs> yelling at me, get back in line. You can't have your luggage. What do you mean I can't have my luggage? I'm not going to the hotel without my luggage right. and leaving it here for my potentially <laughs> delayed or canceled flight tomorrow. Right. And just, I was treated arrogantly and rudely, and it wasn't Delta, it was JetBlue. So there's something Which going really on. Which surprises me, because they're usually very good. I mean, you do get, get some the odd <laughs> the odd case but i i normally do fly jet blue um and i think it was because i mean i've always sort of assumed they used to be non-unionized um and i think they have a union now but that same mentality of actually being nice to customers has <laughs> has seems to by and large have stayed with jet blue yeah well listen and and i also think it's laguardia because 
that is a I, I use the term ghetto airport because I have never seen an airport in such bad condition yes in in the center of America you know New York City is a fairly prestigious city if someone lands at LaGuardia <laughs> They would be hard Trump pressed to figure that out. It. Trump talked about it in his convention speech. I flew out of JFK. I refused to go back to LaGuardia. Uh, I'll fly Newark or JFK from now on because I've never seen anything like that. People lying on the floor, like homeless people living in the airport. Took probably took you an hour to get out of LaGuardia. It was awful. It was a nightmare. And again, you know, I I also had one of those at the gate experiences where I had gone for a more room seating. Um, once I realized I was now trapped uh, another day, I said, well, then I'm paying the extra, I'm getting another, you know, getting an aisle seat or getting a, a for Billy and I an exit row seat. And so I did it online because the woman refused to do it at the gate for me. She said, oh, I can't do that. Well, so I did if it you online. were Delta, you, they wouldn't have respected it anyway. So well, I guess why so. bother doing it they online? Took my, Though I think they should have license. charges. They, they asked me for my driver's license to let me on the plane because I had done a... Oh, yeah, you know, weirdly a, they like, did what that. What is that? They did that at this airport, too. I don't, I don't know why. But and again, that's why I wasn't going to hold everyone up when my ticket was snatched from me. But if it's $30, and again, why didn't they just give that woman $30 if they think that's all it's worth, as opposed to my time spent specifically put picking this seat, which wasn't that important to this woman since she didn't bother pre-booking it. Um, I also want to know what the charges are for um, being berated, um, being abused on social media, having a ticket snatched out of my hand, um, being brusquely told, I don't know, being removed from my seat. What are the charges for those? I think they ought to post that on the, on the website, each one of the charges, $30 for each one of those. All right. Looks like you're ahead of the game. All right. Let's take a quick break. Joyce Kaufman with you along with Ann Coulter in the studio. Stay right where you are. The South Florida Morning Show with Jennifer Ross and Bill Adams. Tomorrow morning at 535. Stay connected, South Florida. News Talk 850 WFTL. Aaron Curtis here. If you've been thinking about a new, younger look, whether through surgery or injectables, I suggest board-certified Palm Beach Gardens plastic surgeon, Dr. David Lickstein. Dr. Lickstein is my plastic surgeon, and he has worked wonders on my face. Dr. Lickstein used injectables like Juvederm Ultra Plus and Botox, and he personally did the injections. I've been told that I look 39, which, believe me, is a big compliment. You want to look younger, refreshed, and not done. Dr. Lickstein has opened the new state-of-the-art offices at the shops of PGA West, and he and his staff are five-star, voted among the best doctors in America. Dr. Lickstein specializes in breast reconstructive surgery and also performs mommy makeovers, facelifts, breast augmentations in a fully equipped surgical facility. The number to call if you'd like a surgical or non-surgical procedure like eyelash extensions or cool sculpting is 561-571-4000. Also, go to his website, licksteinplasticsurgery.com, and see what's available for you at the beautiful new offices of Dr. David Lickstein. And tell Karen sent you. Now, fixed annuities are a, an attractive property, or rather, investment. Um, I can't even talk because I'm confused about everything with a guest in the studio. I don't like people in my studio, but you're okay. Um, but the uh, Perry Financial Group offers a fixed annuity that pays 6% per year with a 4% signing bonus. Now, it's as safe as a CD, it's actually backed by one of the largest and most uh, impressive insurance companies in the whole world which means your money is safe but it's growing a lot faster than in a cd and you have a lot more liquidity you can actually access that access that money when you need it sometimes monthly quarterly every year or just let it sit there and grow anthony perry is a cpa with impeccable credentials he helped the city of carl springs earn triple a credit ratings maybe they need to send him to detroit or chicago so he can help some of those cities out of their bankruptcies over the last 25 years he's been a leader whatever i need from anthony i can get him to help me with and he has helped uh, the Broward County School Board Adult Education Committee to look for jobs that uh, kids really ought to be training for instead of uh, English literature degrees which won't get them a job. Anthony Perry, the Perry Financial Group, he does his own program here Saturdays at 11, Sundays at 10, rebroadcast at noon right here on 850 or call the toll-free number and set up a consultation. It's 888-755-8887. That's 888 888- 755-8887 and on the web it's perryfinancial.com perry with an i please let him know that joy sent you 
If you or a loved one is struggling with drug or alcohol addiction and are serious about getting help, call Addiction Recovery now. Get clean and sober in as little as seven days. Your insurance company may cover 100% of all costs with little or no out-of-pocket expenses. Our trained addiction specialists are available 24-7 and all calls are free and confidential. Take down this number or put it in your cell phone, but call us now at 855-231-2550. That's 855-231-2550. Addiction Recovery Now has helped thousands of struggling drug and alcohol users achieve sober lives and we will help get you or a loved one's life back on track too. You have been struggling for too long and deserve a better life for yourself and your family. No matter what the addiction is, we can help. Speak to one of our trained addiction specialists right now for free. Call Addiction Recovery Now at 855-231-2550. Do not struggle any longer. Call now at 855-231-2550. 855-231-2550. That's 855-231-2550. Call now. Now. Hurricane season is officially upon us. Have you made the change to upgrade your windows? I want you to take a look at this. Hey, it's Joe Pags. I grew up in South Florida, as you know. I know how important it is to protect your house, protect your family, protect your stuff in hurricane season. Make the switch. Upgrade to high-impact windows and doors at your home. Call my friends at Florida Home Improvement Associates today. They're right here in South Florida, and they can help. Call them for a free consultation at 561-330-5700. That's 561-330-5700. Don't rely on those dirty, dusty hurricane shutters any longer. Modernize your home now with high-impact windows and doors from FHIA. And if you act now, you can save. FHIA has over $200,000 available in discounts and rebates. Financing options are available with no upfront costs, and loans are payable through your taxes. Call FHIA right now. Save right now. 561-330-5700. That's 561-330-5700. Make sure you tell them Joe Pag sent you. Hang around. Joyce is back in just 60 seconds. Hey, if it was your show, she'd wait for you. Stay connected, South Florida. News Talk 850 WFTL. All you fans of Street Corner Harmonies, make sure your radio is tuned to News Talk 850 WFTL every Sunday night from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. for Ken Held's Doo-Wop Shop, radio's longest-running oldie specialty show. Hosted by Ken Held, Boca Raton Magazine's Doo-Wop Radio King, and Jennifer Joy Suna, Doo-Wop's dearest darling. The Doo-Wop Shop, every Sunday night from 6 to 8 p.m. on News Talk 850 WFTL and High Definition FM at 97.9 HD2. Join us this Sunday at 4 p.m. on 850 WFTL for Cannabis Life Radio. We will bring you the latest on the implementation of Florida's new medical marijuana law. Don't forget this Sunday at 4 p.m. on 850 WFTL for Cannabis Life Radio, brought to you by Green Roads World. So I'm remiss. Everybody wants to see what's going on. We are Facebook Live. If you go to our website, 850 WFTL. Where's the Facebook camera? I'll wave. Yeah, wave at Facebook. Anne's here. And she, she's really, really here. And uh, we do have some uh, television network coverage as well. Um, so the story has exploded. I mean, and I think you're right. I think it taps into people's generalized frustration with airlines who are pretty much at this point abusing us all. I heard today that more people are buying one-way tickets than round-trip tickets because they can save money. Do you remember after 9-11, we weren't allowed to buy oh, one-way right. tickets? Yeah. It was absolutely, you cannot, we're not going to book a ticket one way because you could be a terrorist. Right, right. And look, no one hit me. I didn't hang myself in an airport. I don't know if you saw that happen yeah, or no. Here yeah. this week. Yeah. The point is, this was cost-free customer service. Right. But just for fun, there's just, again, it's Stanley Milgram's Yale experiment. People, you give some people power over other people and they turn into the Stasi. Mm -hmm. It's just fun to, you know, or boss people around and tell them do this, that, and the other thing with no explanation. This is how you drive people insane, by, by, by imposing arbitrary rules on them, um, changing the rules. I mean, I mean, I think the rule is pretty clear when you sign up for your ticket and, and pick your seat now. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you a question. I mean, obviously, my head goes to this immediately. Um, do you think it was because it's you? Because uh, there are times when it's because it's me that things happen to me. I didn't think so, but I do think the social warrior, justice warriors responding on Twitter, that's because it's me. Um, the overwhelming media coverage... Um, cheering this, 
Um, that's because it's me. So I don't know. Delta can can say we're willing to write off half of America and say and, and just admit uh, we're going to let our social justice warriors sneer and snip at this woman because um, because the media is left wing and they don't like her. Um, but I, I would think for a consumer oriented business, that would be a mistake. See, but, you know, there's something, and it's happened to me frequently here because I'm a local radio personality and have been in this market for 27 years, so I, I'm not going to experience it in New York, but everybody in the country has seen your face either on television or, or read a book or seen your, you know, at the airports, your books are always prominently displayed. And, and I'm thinking to myself, some wise guy at the uh, gate took one look at you and some lady came up and said I really want to change my seat or I want to sit next to my husband he says oh let's give the cult a seat you know what is she going to do about it it the could wrong, be, but they, the wrong cookie. they ought to be investigating. I mean, what, what is this, day three now without an explanation? Um, and also in their little social justice warrior response here, um, no, they haven't given one answer on this. They've given a whole series of answers, but their main answer is to abuse me, um, continue to abuse me. Um, but in in one response, I have um, texted to me yesterday, get everything in writing with them. Oh, they wanted me to call no phone calls. No phone You'll lie calls. about what you said. Um, just over and over, this, this customer service representative, Susanna something, kept saying, sorry, we inadvertently gave away your seat. Well, n no, th dropping a glass of Coke on somebody or a, you know, glass, knocking over a, a bottle of wine. That's inadvertent. This involves going onto the computer, right. finding a book seat, switching a person out of it, printing off the ticket for the new seat that the customer did not book um, and that does not have as much leg room. They act like all these seats are the same. No, they're not. That's why I looked up the airline before booking my seat. Um, the seat I booked had a lot more leg room, and I like the aisle seat. Um, and, then, and then putting another woman into it, giving her her ticket. This isn't inadvertent. So uh, Who's deliberate? Yeah. So now what's next? I mean, obviously, they've now accused you of slandering them. I mean, I know um, you're an attorney, so you're not going to say I'm, too much. But, uh, I mean, really, if it's true, it's not slander. If it's, you know, they're a public corporation. They have to be able to, to withstand criticism, even online, in social media. But it wasn't... Like I say, only if it weren't true, all I did was describe the facts of what happened. With you said they're the worst evidence. airline in the world. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> okay, well. well oh, oh, are, are you kidding me? That's Spirit defamatory? Is the, Spirit is the worst. <laughs> no, because Spirit doesn't waste your time making you book seats online. They say it's a cheap flight, free for all. Don't right. bother going on and looking up the airline and picking right. the seat you want. And I, I don't know if I said this earlier, I ran into a friend, of, also a friend of your producers, um, and also um, on-air talent, Karen Curtis, um, and we sat in the, at the boarding area for 90 minutes. He was in first class, and he's a gazillion mile member, so he offered to upgrade me to first class, and then suddenly he's like darting toward the counter, and I emailed him saying, no, I like my seat. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to be interrupted with champagne and cookies or anything else. I wanted to sit and work in a big seat. I picked the big seat. I reserved it. I checked it. I looked to see as the seats were filling up, moved it to get the best seat I could. That's the time that was wasted. Um, I mean, I haven't asked for money. It was only in response to them saying, oh, we'll give you $30 back. That I said, no, actually, my, my, you wasted $10,000 of my time. Mm -hmm. So if we're, if, we're counting, if we're counting my actual damages, no, it's $10,000 Delta, not, not the $30. And again, if this seat was only worth $30, why didn't you give the other woman the $30 and let me keep the seat? I had carefully pre-selected and reserved. It is like that scene from Seinfeld. You know, we, can, we can take the rest. We just can't keep it. Right. All right. We got to take a break. Stay right where you are. Get the Yankees and Twins. Coverage starts tonight at 720 on Brother Station 640 The Hurricane, South Florida's home for the New York Yankees. Are you tired of losing money? Or worse yet, is your financial advisor a loser? I know a thing or two about making money. Do yourself a favor. Call Keith.
Singer at 866 Wealthy. He'll do a tremendous job for you. What is important is that Keith Singer has 20 years of experience. He's a certified financial planner and he's a Florida attorney. He knows what he's doing. Frankly, he's fantastic. Call him today at 1 866 Wealthy. He's a winner just like me. Fighting addiction is hard. Handley Center at Origins can help. Whether it's alcohol or abuse of prescription medication, Handley Center at Origins has been healing families in our community for over 30 years. And their nationally acclaimed recovery programs accept insurance. For the help you need, visit OriginsRecovery.com or call 844-6-HANDLEY. Healing happens here. Handley Center at Origins, 844-6-H-E-N-L-E-Y or OriginsRecovery.com. I'm Karen Curtis with a News Talk 850 WFTL news break. Police are now identifying the victims of a fatal double shooting in Fort Pierce overnight. They say 30-year-old Diamond Kendrick and 31-year-old Tavares Thompson were killed at Lincoln Park during a large gathering. Investigators believe people at the event may have information that could lead to an arrest, but so far, no one is talking. A lot of attention being focused on Lando Lakes, where there was a huge sinkhole that opened up on Friday. Today, state and county workers are back there evaluating the sinkhole and talking to homeowners about their insurance. The hole swallowed up two homes, a boat, part of a road, and a driveway. And Ann Coulter is joining Joyce Kaufman in studio to talk about her experience on a flight to West Palm Beach aboard Delta Airlines, in which there was a seat mix-up. Delta says her tweets were unnecessary and unacceptable. Ms. Coulter says their treatment of her was unacceptable. Right now, it's mostly cloudy with some rain in the area. 87 degrees in Delray Beach, 87 degrees in Margate. I'm Karen Curtis, News Talk 850 WFTL. Let the summer begin. It's the Summer of Bremen sales event at Bremen BMW. Get the hottest savings this week with new BMWs as low as $268 a month. Or drive with zero down and make no payments all summer long. This is the summer you've been waiting for. The Summer of Bremen sales event, now at Bremen BMW. West Palm Beach and Jupiter, BremenBMW.com. A world-class experience. If you're looking for a home health care provider here in South Florida, making that decision to bring outside help into your home can be overwhelming and challenging. It can even bring anxiety uh, to the family. And where, wherever you are, whatever questions you have, Safe and Steady has home care experts waiting to help you identify your specific needs, then discuss your options, and they'll coordinate the care when you need it. Asking for help can be difficult, but if you have any questions about how Safe and Steady can help make your life easier and make a difference in your life, you can call them right now or 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 561-237-5252. 561 561- Two three seven fifty two fifty two. They know that the right person will make all the difference in your life. And they were founded on the belief that every family deserves an open, honest relationship with their care providers. That is the safe and steady difference. They're locally owned. They're locally operated. That, I can tell you from firsthand experience, makes a tremendous difference. Please call 561-237-5252. 561-237-5252 for safe and steady. Prices are for base buildings only. Do not include windows, doors, or accessories. The economic recovery we've all been waiting for is finally here. Stocks are soaring, and construction spending across America has been on the rise. If you've been waiting to build, the time is now. Whether you want to expand your business or you want to build a new garage, call General Steel today at 888-98-STEEL. Our metal building kits bolt together quickly and are custom designed for your needs. For example, a 40 by 60 is a great space for an auto shop, RV and camper storage, or three-car garage. And if you you call General Steel today. It's on sale now for under $25,000. Or imagine a 50 by 100 clear span building for under $40,000. Suitable for the booming warehousing industry, manufacturing facilities, or a church sanctuary. That's 5,000 square feet for $8 or less per foot. Call 888 steel 888 steel With construction in high demand, this special pricing won't last long. Call to lock your building price today. Call 888 steel That's 888-987-8335. Men, are you tired of those daily blue enhancement pills that take days, weeks, or months to work, if they ever work at all? Listen up. Now you can take RED, the new natural male empowerment pill that works on demand. Even your partner will notice the difference the very first time you use it. 
To prove red won't disappoint like the others, you're invited to participate in our nationwide I Take Red Partner Reaction Guarantee Trial. We're seeking participants for this nationwide trial, not only to prove it works the very first time you try it. We guarantee your partner will also notice the difference. Forget those slow-acting blue pills and join those who proudly take red. Over 50,000 pills have already been claimed and supplies are limited. So to ensure your participation in this free nationwide trial, you must call now. Superior virility on demand. You only need to take red once to see what all the fuss is about. Call immediately to participate in our free nationwide trial. Call 800-294-0509. 800-294-0509. Be one of thousands to proudly say, I take red. 800-294-0509. We've designed a brand new weekly financial radio show, The Income Generation, with host Dave Scranton. Dave is widely regarded as one of the top financial minds in the country. And we've got him. Saturdays, 1230 to 1. Join us for The Income Generation. The South Florida Morning Show with Jennifer and Bill, Made in America. That's right, President Trump calling this Made in America week. And one selfie turns into a $200,000 disaster. We're also going to hear from our buddy Rich Stevens, see how he's doing. Starts at 5.30 a.m. right here, News Talk 850 WFTL. That accident in 95 North at 10th Avenue, that has cleared. Still have problems on 95 northbound and southbound right at Atlantic Boulevard. Northbound is the disabled vehicle on the right lane on the ramp. And a couple left lanes blocked for car fire southbound 95 at Atlantic Boulevard. This update brought to you by Napa Auto Parts. This month at participating Napa Auto Parts stores, the Napa Bucket for $3.99 is back. Not only will you get 20% off three or more items you can fit inside it, but they'll also donate $1 to the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund with purchase. While supplies last, exclusions apply. Dean Mucho with your 850 WFTL traffic. I'm meteorologist Chris Farrell for CBS 12 News. On this Monday through the afternoon hours, becoming cloudy. Scared of numerous showers and thunderstorms likely this Monday afternoon. The rain chance 60%, the high briefly near 90. Tonight, early evening showers, then fair in 77. On Tuesday, morning sunshine with a high of 90, a 60% chance for storms again Tuesday afternoon. It's fascinating really uh, members of the media here are asking questions and they're kind of stuck on whether or not Anne was insulting to the passenger because she referred to her legs as uh, dachshund legs which to me says small you know what's so fascinating if if we were sitting here and you were like Sean Penn and you had actually said something horrifying it wouldn't be a news story and, and I know that to be a fact that that the idea that conservatives are held to a much different standard than than liberals are. I mean, well, the president is not allowed to tweet anything. He 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 affectionately uh, complimented the first lady of France, and he's been excoriated right. morning, noon, and night. Reebok put out a whole thing about how you don't talk to women like that. And I'm I want to go on the record. Anybody who wants to tell me in front of my husband that my workouts are working <laughs> and I look beautiful, please feel free to do that. It's only the media that thinks there's something wrong with that. Right. No, they jump on every little thing. Um, well, one, yeah, docks and legs. Um, we're talking about, again, a seat that is titled the extra legroom seat. Right. That's why that was relevant. This is not comparing her to a dog. It's not calling her dog face. It's referring to her short legs um, to point out that it was not a gigantically tall person among the other possibilities that Delta might have lied about for this. And look, it might well be true. I'll even I'll even concede for purposes of argument um, that if it were the exact same scenario and this were Sean Penn or Michael Moore, maybe you and I would be laughing about it. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, fine. You want to take that bet, Delta? Right, exactly. You think most of your passengers, you, you want to just write off half the country there? Especially the ones who will pay for extra legroom. Because <laughs> right. they've got to be employed. And, and on the tweeting, I, I do find it utterly fascinating of all the attacks, both on, on Trump and now on me. Are liberals slow tweeters? They yeah. seem to think this takes an enormous portion of your day. According to Daily Mail, I spent the, my entire weekend. I, have they heard of the iPhone? It takes you seven seconds to 
send a, to send a tweet. I think all weekend I spent mm, at most 11 minutes tweeting. That is not spending all weekend. Do they know about the 140 character limit? Yeah, and I said this today when I first came on and was referring to this and then referring to all of the commentary about uh, the president's tweets over the last six months. I said, you know, I find it absolutely fascinating that because we're finally able to get a message out without it being filtered and altered by by all of the traditional newspapers and television and radio media um they just they can't handle right. it they just can't handle it. I, people have been lying about me for 27 years right and i have had to take it you know yeah but now that i have a chance to respond and say well no that's not really what happened right and the, and the airline should not move me oh my god i'm, I'm not civil i don't know how to behave the president has, has no manners stop tweeting he has to stop it's 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 fascinating really no it reminds me i want i want to come up with my own rule for people who go on TV. If all you have to say is the president should stop tweeting or make some mention of how he's running his White House like a reality TV show, you don't have to go on TV. Right. You right. don't have to. If you don't have anything to say, you don't right. don't don't feel like that commentary is necessary out there. Have you noticed that's all you hear 24 hours a day? No, I want him tweeting more. Right, and maybe in the future, you know, you will be more circumspect about picking on on someone that you see as being vulnerable. You know, a single woman traveling alone, what's she going to do? She's not going to put up much of a fuss. Yeah, if it's not Ann Coulter or it's not Joyce Kaufman, you won't, they probably won't put up <laughs> much of a fuss. But at this point, we've been empowered. We've been empowered by social media, which gives me a chance to respond immediately when things happen. And I do use it to go over the heads and past the mainstream because I never had this opportunity before. I had to accept whatever the New York papers wrote about me. Is You, you know how, how reluctant I am to give interviews or to have people in the mm -hmm. studio because I've been burned so many right. times. I wouldn't have given the New York Times that interview if you hadn't a vouch for Jeremy and I'm still sorry that I did it because <laughs> sorry. You know, he, he just wait said, didn't he, he quote you accurately himself. He quoted me. It was his commentary that yeah. was snippet. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and I should be used to it by now. It's like their perspective and their stand is always going to be there's something wrong with the way I interact right. with people. Uh, because they don't agree with me and they don't like my opinions. But the bottom line is um, I don't get to stay on the air 27 years because nobody likes my opinions or because I'm so crazy and right. so out there. I speak as Donald Trump spoke to about half of America. Right. They hear my voice. They understand what Ann Coulter writes about in her books and they and they are grateful that people are standing up for them mm -hmm. you know because nobody else might have gotten the attention that you got but there are hundreds of thousands of people who fly around this country every day that get mistreated by airlines not just Delta not just JetBlue but by all these airlines we've seen it on American we've seen it on every you name it we've seen a story of somebody being dragged out a, a person's baby carriage being yanked out from their hands I, I mean it, it's happening and if someone high profile pushes back they ought to just apologize and and immediately go to uh, not so offensive and maybe go on the defense a little and this would have passed right by and also instruct their employees we are a consumer oriented business it's just the entire mentality sometimes um i've mostly had fantastic experiences um this is this is very rare um i do think most flight attendants are really fantastic i know a lot of them i know a lot of pilots um this I was really getting that that arrogant attitude you hear about. I, I mean, mostly in what was done, and it doesn't take that much. Like I say, this isn't a plane crash, but it, is it that hard for for a consumer oriented business not to be arbitrarily changing rules, moving people out of reserved seats, and just saying, I don't know, take it and like it? Yeah. Well, I got to tell you, you know, when this flight was canceled at LaGuardia on Monday night, there was a young woman, a single mom with a baby. And now she has no milk. She's mel she had a total meltdown, and the airlines treated her as though there was something terribly wrong. Like, well, call somebody. She goes, I don't live in New York. I was here visiting. I'm trying to get home. I have six dollars in my pocket. I have wow. nowhere to stay. And they were like, just they just discounted her and her feelings. Then there was an older woman in a wheelchair, and now they're wheeling her out to a bus to take her to JFK to oh, get this on another is horrible. flight. It was horrible. And 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 they were arrogant and angry because of course now they have, have you to tweeted stay late. about this? No, you know, but I'm thinking about <laughs>
about it now. I talked because to my I'm, audience about it on when I came back. I spent the whole. I show bet on you, it. JetBlue will respond properly. Well, you know, they better respond because I wrote because them a letter. I, when I when I've had flights delayed on JetBlue, as you're, I mean, by more than I forget what it is, two you hours get a of credit. As you're walking off the the gangplank, they're telling you, and you seventy five dollar credit in your travel bank. I hear you, but they do that it like did, that. That did not. No, happen this sounds here. very unusual for them. Happen. And if I had not raised the fuss, that I booked a ticket because I had to get back to work, right? As it was, I still didn't make it. But they had reassigned me to a plane that wouldn't have gotten me in until Thursday. And I said, <laughs> that is not going to fly. Yeah, I've had and that I happen. And I booked a, a $758 ticket in place of my $120 ticket to get home the next day. And then I call up and say, look, you're going to have to reimburse me these funds. And they say, oh, no, well, we don't do that. We, we already booked you another flight. And I said, excuse me, I want to talk to your supervisor. And within short order, my PayPal account was refunded. But I'm telling you, that single mom had no recourse. She slept with her baby in an airport that night with, with $6 in her pocket. And I watched carefully until I actually left. And I slipped her a little money because I thought at least if she can get some milk for this baby. But who, who treats people like that? Right. You know, well, that's the other thing about the New York airports. Oh. They it, they seem not to. They're great, but except planes can't take off or land with any regularity. Well, this was a. You want to know what the reason was that we didn't get off? There was a fire in the air traffic controllers tower in D.C. Okay. So now oh, that the airspace everything was down? covered, uh, was right. Oh. Okay, so now any other airline would not be waiting for their only plane from Fort Lauderdale or Orlando to come in so that we could take it back. Right. They have an extra plane. At JFK, they had 20 uh, JetBlue planes. But at LaGuardia, four gates, one plane. Yeah, LaGuardia is very, very, very bad. I can't, I can't, you know, that's not my fault. I want to be treated uh, nicely you know, I when wish you Trump have a problem like would that. come back from all of this gallivanting abroad and concentrate on, on America's problems, including fixing LaGuardia, which he promised in his convention speech. Mm -hmm. And a border wall, which, and, by the way, well, is that's now, the number one that issue. The, <laughs> the co committee just gave him the money. Now let's see what the uh, House and the Senate do with that. You know, I was just that. noticing yesterday, what is it, One like $1.9 billion? $1.6 billion. Okay, meanwhile, Google this right now. How much they're spending on opioid addiction. Oh, please. Right. A billion. Right. It's it's like twenty times more. I think. Well, whatever it is, you know, you could you could really solve that heroin problem with the wall. There's so many problems. Everything gets easier with a wall. Yeah, well, I agree, and and I think part of the reason that uh, maybe they thought it was okay to change your seat, and part of the reason I sometimes will be treated mistreated locally is because they they really think it's it's okay. Um, because they don't like my opinions and they don't like your opinions. And it, it just, that could be, it, but I must say I did not think so. I don't particularly think so now, but isn't that what they've had 48 hours to investigate? Do it they looks know? more like it now than yeah. it did before, because yeah. I assure you, if you were Bette Midler, you would have been given a private jet. I wouldn't be getting these snippy replies on Twitter refunding $30. No, that'll be $10,000 Delta. Did they know that you're an attorney? Apparently not. Um, yes, but I better sue fast before they go under. <laughs> Their stock price is down. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. No fake news here. News at the top and bottom of every hour and when it breaks. Stay connected, South Florida. News Talk 850 WFTL. The Crash Proof Retirement System is specially customized for every individual client. Crash Proof consumer Susan Turner is a retired secretary. The Crash Proof Retirement System that was designed for me meets all of my needs. I have enough money left out for liquidity in case I want to take a trip or do anything. It just fit all of my needs. And the main thing to me is that I have one daughter and when the time comes that I'm not here anymore, she'll have the money that I worked hard to accumulate, which I'm free to take some out at the time, but it will still grow and it's just a win-win for my whole family. I want to thank Phil Canella and Joanne Small. They truly are looking out for the consumer. The next Crash Proof Retirement Educational event is happening at the Doubletree Hilton in Palm Beach Gardens on Tuesday, July 18th at 5 p.m. The event is followed by a complimentary dinner. Register by calling 1-800-722-9728 or go to CrashProofRetirement.com. 
Dr. Mark Pinsky, my plastic surgeon. I love to talk about Dr. Pinsky because his uh, his whole specialty is you or me, whoever happens to walk into the office, and whether it's uh, the two hundred and fifty thousand dollars of revolutionary breakthrough non-surgical in-office technologies like the Infini, the skin tightening for necks and faces, or Selfina, the only FDA-approved device to truly eliminate eliminate rather cellulite dimples and puckers, Neograph for hair transplants, new injections, laser techniques. Well, he brought all of that to his practice. But when it comes to surgery, I'm here to tell you, a lot of people think that uh, every woman wants to have a larger breasts. And then in my case, when I said, no, really, I want to go in the other direction, Dr. Pinsky knew exactly why I wanted to do it. And three other plastic surgeons refused to do the surgery. Dr. Pinsky said, not a problem. I guarantee you're going to love the results. And he was ever so right. So if you're looking for that kind of plastic surgeon, one that is not uh, put off by any request that you have, will sit down and explain to you what you can expect. Go see my doctor, Dr. Mark Pinsky, on uh, RCA Center Drive in Palm Beach Gardens. If I travel all the way from Fort Lauderdale to Palm Beach Gardens to get plastic surgery, it's because I don't fool around when it comes to these things. Pinsky Plastic Surgery on the web. It's PinskyMD.com or call 561-881-8800. That's 561-881-8800. And please let them know that Joy sent you. Are there problems in your condominium or HOA? If so, listen to Condo Craze and HOAs each Sunday at 11 a.m. right here on 850 WFTL. The show is hosted by me, attorney Eric Laser, and I've been representing community associations and their owners for the last 25 years. I've heard a million condo and HOA stories, and on Sunday, I want to hear yours. Call in with your questions, and we'll answer them live on the air. That's Sunday at 11 a.m. on 850 WFTL. And to learn more about the show, just visit www.condocrazeandhoas.com. Wow, it's hot outside. All I want to do is chill, relax, and have some summer fun. Well, it's summer in paradise. Every Thursday, all summer long, we can chill on the West Palm Beach waterfront at Clematis by Night. Clematis by Night, always free with extended summer hours. Two bands and Aesop's Tables, a fun, engaging art installation presented by the City of West Palm Beach's Art and Public Places program. WPB.org slash events for info. Powered by Discover the Palm Beaches, Coca-Cola, and 850 WFTL. More Joyce in just a minute. Stay connected, South Florida. News Talk 850 WFTL. We love beer! The 2017 Palm Beach Summer Beer Fest is almost here. We love beer, and we know that you do too. Saturday, July 22nd at the South Florida Fairgrounds Expo Center in the cool AC. Two sessions, 12 noon and 5.30 p.m., but with VIP admission, you get in an hour earlier. Love bourbon and whiskey too? We got it. Don't miss the Hillbilly Bourbon Whiskey Tasting Lounge where you can sample 86 and 101 proofs. There's a tug-of-war contest for cash presented by You Pull and Pay, and this is not just any beer fest. We have over 150 craft beers on tap, a silent disco dance floor, cornhole, 10 gourmet food trucks, live music on stage, and special timed releases. Also, do not miss the huge after party at the ranch at Double D's where the fun continues into the night. PalmBeachSummerBeerFest.com has all the event information and a link to buy tickets. Like our Facebook page for free giveaways. Get your advanced tickets now at a discounted rate. That's PalmBeachSummerBeerFest.com. But hurry before the tickets are gone. Cheers! Welcome back. Ann Coulter is in the studio, and I know that there are probably people out there wondering why I was uh, railing against the mainstream media since they were in here covering it, but that's why I was doing it. If you could have seen the interview they conducted during the break with Ann, uh, they were... It's so nice to have a witness. Oh, my God. They were unable to wrap their minds around the fact that she wasn't insulting the woman's looks. She used the term dachshund because the woman had little legs, and it was a bigger seat for people with long legs. Right, and then it's supposed to be, I went through this for so many years with my books where they latch on to something, and suddenly this becomes this horrible, but you compare to her to a dog. Dachshunds are adorable. What are you talking about? They have cute... You just obsess with these things, and couldn't you have said it a different way? No, I'm sorry. It's Twitter. I spent 12 minutes on Twitter this weekend. 
Contra Daily Mail spent my entire weekend. No, it takes seven seconds to tweet. Yeah, maybe I could have chosen a different word. Um, and after you've written 12 New York Times bestsellers, I'll be fascinated to see what words you would have chosen. That's right. And it's like when I when I first met you in person and uh, a friend of mine, I said to my friend, you know, I had Ann Coulter. I was interviewed her at some uh, CPAC. I don't remember who it was, but many years ago. And she said, well, you know, she's a notorious anti-Semite. And I said, <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Uh, and she said, oh, no, you know, she thinks that, uh, you know, you're going to hell. And, uh, and I'm like, what? And then I started to, you know, do a little, uh, you know, background. And, like, they, they will find the narrative and they will f make you fit that narrative. Right. Even if they have to twist you into a pretzel. Right. It's what they are going to represent. And they will never back down, ever. You will forever be to that person what the, what, whatever, whoever said it in the, in the first place was. And I'm watching this reporter in here and she's going, well, but do you think it was fair? And do you think it was fair <laughs> to, to compare her to a dog? And do you think it was fair to call her a dog? I, what? What does that mean? She didn't call her a dog. She wasn't comparing her to a dog. She was talking about the length of her legs but they just it doesn't no i know and it works with the left um because oh, as i described for decades. It, yeah in my book demonic this is they are subject to groupthink to mobbish behavior conspiracy theories and slogans work really well with them they they don't do what you did huh what are they talking about let right. me read what she has no none of them have read me no. none of them know what i have to say about anything but they hear the label and that's all they need they like labels that's good yeah. that's why i think i get usually give a lot of college speeches um and Not anymore. <laughs> right. And during Bush's term, I was apparently taken as the representative of the Bush administration. So the chant was, Bush lied, kids died. Bush lied, kids died. And I heard it so much, I started answering my phone that way. Bush lied, kids died. <laughs> um, and then Obama came in, and they didn't know what to chant. <laughs> so the protesters kind of faded away. No, we, we, we don't have a political opinion. There's no motto yet. Right. Well, <laughs> listen, I, I said to, to myself, uh, I was listening to some nonsense over the weekend. I can't even watch television at all anymore. And I said, I don't care how many people were in the room with Donald Trump Jr. I care that a Border Patrol agent was shot with a gun. Yeah. That the United States government kept it. No special prosecutor there. Right. I care that, uh, you know, the IRS went after conservative groups. Yes. People that I know personally who were denied tax-exempt status in, in nonprofits. Uh, I care about that. No special prosecutor right. there. I don't remember any special prosecutors. But I do have one now. And I do have a recused attorney general for what, Ann? I know. Well, my idea is for Trump to move Sessions, the sainted Jeff Sessions, to head Homeland Security. Kelly's all right. Eh. He's all right. Could have um, been worse. Well, I'm not sure whether to blame the emperor god Trump or Kelly, but they're still issuing those unconstitutional am amnesties, and they still haven't started on the wall. So I say move Sessions over there. Um and there are a lot of fantastic people they could have at Department of Justice because I think one session chose Rod Rosenstein no, it's over. as yeah. It's yeah. So why aren't there any IRS prosecutions? They won't be. Why you know why is Lois Lerner you know collecting right. a, a, a paycheck still to this day a, a golden parachute and, and and that's the kind of stuff that is just so frustrating to me. Look, you know if 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 somebody can prove that they did anything, the Trump campaign team, I'll be the first one to say right. you know this is this is not the way we run a, an an open government. But they can't. Uh, so they just keep throwing more and more crap to see if anything will stick. It doesn't stick, but you and I both know it. It's a death by a thousand cuts, you know? Yes, luckily they rendered they're him sticking incapable. On, they're sticking on, I think, the craziest conspiracy theory, this Russia business. I think that's not going to help them in the elections. Hey, listen, I, I can't believe that, uh, you know, that Maxine Waters is still out there screaming, you know, impeachment. This is a woman who is literally had every ethics charge in the country, you know, filed in her admitted. Anyway, stay right where you are. We've got to take a break. Top of the hour here for the news. We were Facebook Live. If you had a chance you wanted to see Ann, that's the place to go. WRMF HD2. Here's David Lerner. Are you getting the feeling from your current investment firm that you're not very important? Could you use a little TLC and perhaps more income? Then it's time for you to discover David Lerner Associates. For 41 years, David Lerner Associates has been dedicated to providing our investors with what we believe is the sensible middle ground of investing. Take a tip from Poppy. 
For more information or to reserve a seat at our next investment seminar, call or go online now. Call 1-800-367-3000 or visit us at davidlearner.com. That's 1-800-367-3000. There are risks inherent in investing. Past performance is no guarantee of future results. Certain investments are offered by prospectus. Investors should read the prospectuses carefully and consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, expenses, and other information before investing. The prospectuses may be obtained from David Lerner Associates Incorporated by calling 1-800-367-3000. Member FINRA and SIPC. Remember, the appointment is free. The advice could be priceless. Make us an offer, any offer, during the construction reduction sale at Toyota of Hollywood on 441 between Hollywood Boulevard and Sheridan Street, where you can pay up to 50% less on your own than original MSRP 2017. RAV4 XLE 2196. Buy any new Toyota and we'll make your payments till 2018. Buy any new Toyota and we'll include a seven year, 100,000 mile bumper to bumper limited warranty at Toyota of Hollywood on 441 between Hollywood Boulevard and Sheridan Street. The number one volume Toyota dealer in the Southeast region. Based on total new Toyota retail sales for 2016 for SET on 441 between Hollywood Boulevard and Sheridan Street. Just two blocks south of their old location. Open till midnight. Your home for the South Florida Morning Show. Featuring news from Karen Curtis. News Talk 850 WFTL. West Palm Beach, Wellington, Oakland Park. Good afternoon. I'm Karen Curtis with the News Talk 850 WFTL News Break. Ann Coulter is mad at Delta Airlines and Delta not too happy with Ann. The tweets began Saturday afternoon in which Ann Coulter called Delta the worst airline in America after her prepaid seat was switched on a flight to West Palm Beach. Coulter tweeted that the woman who ended up in her seat had short dog-like legs. Docks and legs, and we're talking about, again, a seat that is titled the extra legroom seat. Right. That's why that was relevant. This is not comparing her to a dog. It's not calling her dog face. It's referring to her short legs to point out that it was not a gigantically tall person among the other possibilities that Delta might have lied about. And joined Joyce Kaufman in the studio. Delta finally issued a statement saying they were sorry that the customer did not receive the seat that she reserved and paid for and they would give her her $30 back. Police are now identifying the victims of a double homicide in Fort Pierce last night. 30-year-old Diamond Kendrick and 31-year-old Tabaris Thompson were killed at Lincoln Park during a large gathering. Investigators believe people at the event may have information that could lead to an arrest, but so far no one is talking. O.J. Simpson is set to face a parole board at 1 o'clock on Thursday. Simpson is currently serving a 9- to 33-year prison term for his role in a 2007 botched robbery in Vegas. If Simpson is granted parole, he would be released on October 1st. We're watching an area of disturbed weather. It formed off the coast of Africa, and models have the disturbance moving into the Caribbean by late week. We'll watch it for you. You can go to our website, 850WFTL.com, and click on the storm page for more information. The revised Senate Republican health care bill is in limbo. The nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office was expected to release an assessment of the bill's impacts today, but that's being delayed at least one day. Meantime, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has posted postponed procedural vote to move the bill forward this week. Right now, mostly cloudy with some rain in the area. 87 degrees in Manalapan, mostly cloudy, 88 degrees in Davie. I'm Karen Curtis, News Talk 850 WFTL. Attention all CPAP users. This is an important message regarding your CPAP machine and your health. If my husband's CPAP machine isn't cleaned well, it could make him sick. But with a SoClean sanitizer, we don't have to worry. I'm Dr. Joseph Cranin, a sleep apnea specialist. If you're using a CPAP machine, you could develop a respiratory illness if it's not cleaned properly. That's why I strongly recommend SoClean, the world's first automated CPAP cleaner and sanitizer. SoClean kills 99.9% .9 of CPAP germs and bacteria without hazardous chemicals, and it works on all popular CPAPs. Try SoClean risk-free for 30 days. Just call 800-540-1010. We just dropped the mask.